Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to more Xenogears, where today we gotta go explore a town. Now, I took about an hour, hour and a half or so, and did a little grinding, just a little bit, because I needed to. What we've got, we now have six AP on Bart and Faye. I know I'm, I'm a little over-leveled right now. I'm not gonna lie. Let me look at this. What does it say? Look. Oh, actually, I'm not over level based on what the guide is telling me. I'm actually under level still. Uh, but what we got are three speed rings on everybody. So, Saiten here has got about a, what, a 25% speed increase. Bart got about a 30%. Faye with a 30% as well. What this does is effectively, I have. Has no speed. You are not getting on my lap today. He flat out sliced my leg open earlier. He was laying on my lap. I had my phone out and it slipped in my hand and bumped into him and he just freaked out, jumped up and just, I could hear my skin rip when he cut me. You are not supposed to be on my lap, boy. You, you can't. My leg is freaking bleeding still. <laughs> I'm trying to do this. No, you need to get down. You know what you did. I don't, I'm not. I'm not mad at him. Just he needs to stay down because I don't need him getting into it. Ugh. Anyways, it's time to start Operation Ava. We're gonna sneak into Ava. I I went back and got. Uh, oh, I also got Heimdall's uh, HP upgrade because we're gonna need that. I've got all the upgrades I need to get, and I just wanted to grind out the uh, speed rings. So we went back to Bart Slayer because it's the only place to sell them. Well, I, I could have got them on the Yggdrasil itself from Mason, but I need to get the Heimdall upgrade from the base. And the only person left in the base now is the shopkeeper, so no big deal on that front. Oh, we gotta get out. Hey, we're docking our ship right next to your frickin' town. Oh, god dang it. Well, I gotta move the ship away. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Hey guys, we're just gonna come stomping around here with a bunch of mechs. This is gonna take a long time to get through this town because there are... Oh. There are things. Hey, that battleship we saw earlier is docking. Oh, cool, they have an airport. It's kind of weird how sometimes they slow down and speed up music. Fold in the wings! There you go. F-14, that sucker. But I can't get one on one of them. I think it's a pretty cool looking ship. Greetings, Emperor. Yeah, whatever. I sit behind some kid in the in the flight. He's screaming the whole time and kicking the back of my seat. And now my luggage is lost. That's great. Yeah, I know I'm not reading this. And here we have the main douchebag of the game. Ramses. Cancel the alert status. Begin repairs and resupply immediately. And Miang. Oh! Miang, you're the one that caused me to have to restart the game my first time playing through it. And I'll tell, show you guys why. It'll be a while, but yeah. The Prime Minister and General Vandercombe are here to see you, Commander. Hmm. What a dismal welcome. What do you expect? We're on the surface. Miang, let's disembark. 
Yes, sir. Ramses is the ultimate douchebag. Oh, gosh. Stand this guy. Like, you will. He's not one of those villains you love to hate. You hate to hate him. It's just like, God, why are you so freaking stupid? Well, well, Commander. We've only just taken command and already you are achieving splendid results. Oh, wait, that's not. He's got have some kind of Middle Eastern accent. So. Ah, well, we'll leave him ahead. You dispatched those irksome Kislev units in a matter of days. I'm very impressed. I can't believe you were beaten by such a small force. And I have only just taken over my post and already you have embarrassed me. I'm sorry, Commander. They were more persistent than we anticipated. They had a new model gear that was very mobile. I couldn't get a lock on it with the main gun. Otherwise, there would have been no way we could have been beaten by such... Fool. No one to use that big gun. And on whom? You failed because you tried to solve everything with force. You have muscles instead of brains. Commander! Dismissed. Speedy! Ah! Boy! I'm... You're not gonna tear up junk. Get out of there! Jeez! Tear my leg up? Now you're trying to tear up wires! Dismissed. Go polish your beloved 1200 sim gun. Tomorrow is the 500th anniversary of this country. Uh, please come to the dedication ceremony. There is a customary tournament after the dedication ceremony. What about the incident in that report? What? Oh, you mean the 500 year old mobile weapon excavated from the ruins? Uh, thanks to the help of the Ethos, the repairs are complete. I thought we could announce it on the day of the dedication ceremony. Toys like that should be given to Vandercom. I'm talking about the Fatima Jasper. I have already obtained one half of the crest, but I haven't been able to get to her, get her to tell me where the other half is. She is a rather strong good girl. You're not being rough with her, are you? Of course not. I know how you despise folk who acts like that. You said that girl is the Holy Mother of Nissan. Uh, Nissan. Oops, I said Nissan. Sorry. <laughs> is she upstairs? Yes, in the East Tower. Miang, could it possibly be a relic? Yes, but there is still no response. There seems to be a barrier of something or something. However, we do know from the 500 year old records that one certainly exists in this vicinity. It's probably probably well preserved too. Let's meet her. I want to talk to her directly. Miang, you come with me. Yes, sir. So Ramses is kinda like Zex Marquis and Gundam Wing and Miang is like knowing. Except way more evil. Open the door. Uh, Commander Ramses is here to see her. Commander, please. Well, now we can see Margie. Uh, who are you? I am Ramses. She is Miang. We would like to ask you some questions. I'm Margie. Actually, it's Marguerite. Uh, what do you want to know? Uh, my favorite food? I like cake, chiff and nisen is my favorite. I haven't had it for so long. Marguerite, we want you to ask you about the Fatima family treasure. I'm talking about the Fatima Jasper. You see, I'm keeping the piece you had in a safe place. But I don't know where the other piece is. Do you? Nope. Only one I had you took from me. You didn't even give me anything for it. Hey, next time you come, could you bring me some Chiff and Neeson? I used to eat everyday Neeson. I don't think they make it in Ava. 
Ava used to have such good bakers, but I guess they must have all died in a war. That is too bad. I don't know how much about cake. No more much about cake. But I'll see if I can find some for you next time. Well, thank you, Ramses. I'll be waiting. Is there anything else you need? If there's something you want, I'll bring it next time. No, I just want to go back to Neeson. And they must be so worried about me. I'm sorry, but please wait a little longer. We want you to stay here until we find the other half of the Fatima Jasper. I'm amazed she talked that much. He can handle women as well as he says. Is it all right? I can't prevent them from meeting her. Not when it's him we are talking about. Besides, Marguerite isn't talking anyway, so there's no need to worry. But where did the leak from the Jasper come from? The Athos? Ridiculous. If this continues, my plans will be... You better find out who is leaking out the information immediately. In the meantime, we'll have to administer some truth serum to our guest, Miss Marguerite. We must find the other piece of the Fatima Jasper as quickly as we can. But... How spineless the, vast, the last commander of Anarchom was. This time Gebler has sent their highest commanding officer. His country is throwing all their weight into this. And there is nothing we can do about it. And we get to do things now. Not yet. <laughs> Welcome to Ava, everyone. There's plenty of things here to buy. Fine, steal. Well, not steal, but, but fine things. Let's see. Um, let me look at the shops here. Okay, they're not really selling anything we need. Yeah, that's all junk. That's junk. Uh, oh, I had that whip a snap. Oh well, I think I got enough money. Can I buy that? Nope. All right. Uh, I don't really need it anyways. Let's see. Yeah, there is nothing we need in this place. This gear shop's useless. So there's a hide-and-seek badge. Okay, well, I'm not really worried about these badges. Uh, whoa! Welcome to Bledovic! We are having a festival celebrating the founding of our country, Ava. There is a martial arts tournament, too. It's been a while since we had so many visitors. You already have a hotel? Uh, not yet. You'd better get a room soon or they'll be all gone. I know a good hotel. The hotel I'm talking about is... Well, the Hoch. <laughs> that one. Tell them my name at the front desk and they'll give you a deal. Radishes, get them here. Get your spicy radishes. Big lay on radishes. Oh no, you raised the prices again. Hey, give me a deal. I'm sorry, the army just comes and confiscates whatever it wants, so I'm a little short stock stock. I was well in soon. I, shut up. I don't care, I don't care. Are you all here for the tournament? Uh-huh. What, you don't know? It's only the biggest martial arts tournament in the world. I came all the way to Bloodfick just to see it. You'll be sorry if you don't go. Young sir, young sir, berries, buy some berries, sweet delicious berries, they're very cheap. Shut up. Huh? Mm hmm. What was that? I forgot. Oh yeah, I remember. Prince Bartholomew? you? Yes. Hey, that's pretty good, Grandpa. My, how you've grown. Your Highness probably doesn't remember me, but I used to work at a castle kitchen. You would always come in and taste everything used to dress up and say, I'm a pirate, give me your food. Ah, the good old days. Get girl away, Grandpa! 
Ah, I'm so busy. The shop owner was drafted, and now I have to do everything myself, from taking care of the kids to running the shop. Well, what are you selling? Are you here for the tournament? Well, I guess so. Yeah, well, I'm glad. Those guys were the tourists. Uh, okay. Um. Bananas! Long bananas! Good buy for body and soul. Buy some bananas. <coughs> oh, gosh. I'm dying. Get off my back. I'm just looking. Shut up, kid. I'll punch you in the face. Just between you and me. It was 500th anniversary. But, hey, you! You steal my food? I'll whoop your tail. Show me what you're hiding. Give it back now. I won't tell your folks. What are you talking about, lady? I'm not hiding anything. Do you want to see? See? They're strange. You can't accuse me of proof. Come on, lady. Speedy? No. You tore my legs to pieces. No. God dang cat. No, you're stepping right on. Ow! God! Ouch! Shut up, mind your own business. Hey, hey, man. Will you feed us? Well. Just I thought adults were all talk. Sure. You let me a thousand gold. I ain't got that kind of cash. Get the frig out of here. Goofy goddamn kid. Think I got a thousand bucks laying around? I spent it all on frickin' speed rings. Ever since my oldest son was drafted, I've been so lonely. My younger son is up on the roof looking north. I hope my boy comes home safely. He's such a gentle child. I'm worried he'll, how he'll make it in the army. He used to arrange the flower upstairs. And now I make them as I pray for his safety. Yeah, there's a lot of people to talk to today. Not really any treasure here, so... Kind of just gotta get the story moving along here. What's this? Oh, fish are pretty. I could watch them all day. I, I'd like to eat. Oh, so I table for how many? This way, please. Your order. Give me something fast. In just a moment. Yeah, this definitely. People make Crown Trigger definitely make this freaking game. Here. It'll be 210 gear. Hey, you don't have enough money, do you? Uh. What, what's going on? Oh god, Tiny Dash again. Follow me. I didn't know you were going to charge me. You didn't say there was a charge for it. Come here. Two hundred ten bucks for a fast food meal. Get the frig out of here. My big brother worked in that restaurant. He caught so many bilkers who tried to dine and dash. He said he could tell who would do that kind of thing. Because he went into the army, there's a new waitress. I want to make it easy for him to get his job back when he returns. I merely bugged the waitress and helped the bilkers out. Dine and Dash get away. I mean, that's kind of noble of you, but dude, I would have paid or done something. I didn't know he was going to charge me. They're like, hey, it's, a, it's an hour two ten bucks. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, here's the nun. What's going on? How dare you come into other people's rooms through the window? Prince Bartholomew! I'm sorry, I heard Prince Bartholomew was coming here. I just never expected to be through the window. Please come in. Excuse me, but who are they? Oh, this is Faye and Satan. They're going to help me rescue Margie. Oh, thank you for coming here in this desert heat. I am a servant of the Neeson sect. Ever since she can't, Mother Marguerite, I've been looking for, into ways to get her back. I've been trying to find out where she is being held. I've been busy listening to workers talk about the comings and goings from the castle, and giving food to the guards who are 
preparing for the tournament to loosen their lips too. And finally yesterday I got some information. Margie's in the Citadel. The problem is how to slip into the castle. I thought about it a lot, but it looks pretty bleak. I'm sorry. Eh, no big deal. At least we know where she is now. You just relax. We'll find a way to slip into the castle. My apologies. If there is anything else I can do to help Stash, do you have any good leads? Not yet. We're gonna hit the streets for info now. Then we'll think about the rest later. I see. I'm very relieved that you are all here. Uh, please come see me again if you hear anything new. So, remember her for later. We, we do need to talk to her later. Um, Alright, this is the hotel. We don't need to really do anything here. What we will do is go ahead and save. And make our save file. We're now on the other memory card already, and we've barely scratched the surface of this freaking game. Jeez. Still greatest save thing ever on the PlayStation. There's just a save noise. Sounds like you're shooting like a high powered rifle, like laser rifle. Oh ho, what is this? The Ethos? Oh, is this a gear shop? I think it is. Yeah. Okay, so, see, just to show you, there's nothing here worth getting. I mean, we got a well till 3,000, now we got the 24. Now, I could have got Heimdall's thing here, so that's nice to know, but yeah, the armor's still garbage. So, yeah, there's nothing here. Nothing here we need. Yeah, pretty much anytime you see those symbols in a town, that's. You're like, hey, it's a gear shop. Look at that. All right, we need to find. No, I don't need it. Okay, we gotta find a kid who's gonna play hide and seek, pretty much. Lee? Whew. I thought my son came back. You. Are you Hulk Hogan? My son's flirting, fighting for the country. He won't be back soon. It must be a tough job. Yet, I bet he's a general by now. Sorry, he's gone to the sea now. You see, our son went on holidays to get out of joining the army. But we haven't heard from him in ten years. Dang. I mean, I... I don't know. Oh, this looks like a weapon shop. Ye old weapon shoppy! There is something I'm going to look at. Uh, weapon snapper. See, that is better. I had one and I sold the stupid thing. Yeah, I don't need the. Well, hang on to that. Um, I don't need the leather whip. Hang on to that. Um, I'm not gonna need another stamina ring. And I can get rid of this and the martial stuff. Junk. All right. Now, can I afford that? Not yet. Um, we'll sell some hop jerky and make a difference. There we go. Let's go ahead and get a better weapon. Okay. There we go. More attack power is always a fun thing. And you might be thinking, like, oh, small little stat increments, they don't do a whole lot. They actually do in this game. Uh, like I said, uh, you know, I'm going to be taking a lot of damage in combat, but I'm going to be getting so many more turns with the speed rings on that the damage output's going to more than make up for it. My brother's such a child. He's always playing hide and seek. What a laugh. I wonder where he's hiding now. 
Yeah, we're gonna find more for one. Armor shop, eh? What did you have? A bunch of crap. Wonder, where is he hiding? Can you help me too? No, I didn't want to say I'm busy. Okay. Thanks, rules you can't hide in houses or where you can't see. I've been doing laundry here for 60 years. The water is, is the only thing that hasn't changed. There's a spring flowing beneath the castle. I was worried that when the king died, the water would stop too, but it didn't. Guy down there in charge of the water will budget hits you for Chicago. Yeah, he's a great guy. Ch my childhood friend. It's cool here. Whoever blows up for the great. Oh, good. Oh, good. You won't open it without the key. Now, years ago, a kid got lost down there. I think it was the kid from the armor store. Okay, so I gotta go find a little punk brat. Let me check this house. Alright, so we gotta go find the kid. Where's... What's the kid... Uh, what's the thing here about the kid? Meow, meow, meow. I must apologize. There are so many cats here. It's hard to walk. My daughter collects them. I'm back. Hi. Hey, come here. What? I'm not hiding anything. Just come here. I did. Can I go upstairs now? Kitty! Cat's attack. That child. What did she bring home now? But. It's so sad. I have no father, but at least I have a mother. This kitty was her parent. I feel lonely because my dad's not here. But just think of how my poor little kitty friend feels. So I told her that she'll have lots of friends at my house, and she just followed me home. Recently they started calling my house the cat house. Sorry. You're gonna have to take care of it. Okay. More kitties! Let's go see the new kitty. New kitty! Meow meow. There's a kitty on the bed. Wake up, cat! <laughs> Wake up, it's time to go to sleep. I have people constantly saying, you need to get Speedy a friend. And I'm like, he's... I've only got enough room in my lap for one big fat chubby cat. So, it didn't happen. Fortunately. I've thought about it, but... It really doesn't... I really don't need to get another cat. I really don't need another cat. Now he's a good cat. I love him to death, even though he just lacerated my leg open earlier. No, I did not want to leave. God dang it! Oh, stupid freaking game! Okay, so we're gonna find this little turd bucket a few times. There he is. Oi! Ah, oh, you found me! Good job. Next time I'll hide somewhere better. Huh? You wanna hear about when I went down the well? It's been a while since anyone asked me about that. Everyone wanted to know about it back then. Well, <laughs> I was still a kid when I hid in there. Actually, I got lost. Pretty embarrassing. At first, I thought I could follow the current out, but the grill stopped me. So I swam against the current. The speed of the current is always changing, so if your timing's off, it's really tough. I hear it's the opening and closing of the floodgate that changes the speed of the current. But if you keep going against the current, you'll end up right under the castle. I was scared stiff by the manager guy there. The lid to the well's been locked since then. There's a great place to hide, but it's not for amateurs. Huh? The key? The old guy is always sitting on the bench by the east well has it. 
When you leave, I'll hide somewhere. No, I don't want to hear. I don't. Shut up. I can't move away. Arg. Well, anyways, uh, I'm going to leave this part of the town and come back. And then when I do, we will pick up with trying to find this kid a few more times. Because I do want to kind of see if I can get the, uh, the hide-and-seek badge. Alright, I'll catch you guys next time. Later.